Hey guys, so this is going to be my long-awaited, very much requested, promised Etsy haul. Um, for those of you that don't know what Etsy is, it's an online shop basically where anyone can open a store and it's all homemade stuff. It's anything from clothing to um, baby, like f like um, slippers for babies, onesies, dog dog toys, scarves, jewelry, makeup, soaps, like anything you can imagine. Wedding invitations, there's everything on this site and it's, I love it because it's basically people that run their own businesses, usually um, not very well known people, which you guys know I love supporting. So, um, I'll start with just letting you know why this all came about. I started making jewelry. For those of you that don't know, most of you know by now, I started making my own um, like angel wing necklaces. I'll show you them. I have two of them right here. Um, and I opened up a shop on Etsy, so that's how I kind of came about. These are what mine looks like. They come in silver and in gold. These are my two most popular. The silver, this is like the 18 inch black swan, and this is the 18 inch white swan. And they're made with sterling silver and genuine Swarovski crystals. So these are my necklaces that I sell on my Etsy. And then I recently just started selling these little earrings to kind of match um, their sterling silver Swarovski crystal to match the little angel wing necklaces. I had some requests for earrings, so I started that. I will put a link to my Etsy store as well as every other Etsy seller that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So once I started putting my stuff up on Etsy, I started shopping around and shopping and shopping and shopping. So I didn't just buy this like today. I literally have been on Etsy for months now and I've just been accumulating all this stuff and finding really good sellers and stores people have suggested. So I want to show you what I've gotten. Everything here is jewelry. That's one of my uh, <laughs> hobbies. Uh, ex obsessions, I don't know what you want to call it, but I love, love, love jewelry. So I'll start with this. It's what I have on now. I'm going to take it off because I want you guys to see the detail in this. This is my very, very favorite, most favorite thing that I've bought off Etsy um, the entire time. And I'm not going to remember all the seller's names, but like I said, I will put a link to everybody that I talk about in the description box. And I also do want to say as a disclaimer, I have paid for, if not swapped for, which I'll explain, every single thing you see here. Nobody sent me this stuff for free. Nobody asked me to do reviews. I paid for every single thing that you're going to see with my own money. None of this was sent to me for free. I found this all on my own. And yeah, so this is a 16 inch monogram pendant. You might be familiar with the Jennifer Zuner pendants. You see them all over Hollywood. I was almost about to get one. And then I had been doing some research online and I found this, which is a lot cheaper. I think better quality alternative. My initials are MGM. So it's like a swirly. I don't even know if you can see. A lot of people can't tell, but it's M and then G and the M, like in cursive. And it's, it is sterling silver. I wrote down little notes. Um... The guy that, he hand makes these. You can just tell, I hope you can tell by the thickness of this. It's, I mean, not flimsy at all. It is solid, amazing quality. The craftsmanship on this is amazing. It's pretty soft around the edges. There's no sharp edges that's going to poke you. Originally, I ordered the 18-inch on the rope chain, which looks like this. And then when I got it, it was too long. I didn't like it. So I ended up just shortening it myself, clipped off a few of the links. So now it lays about here, and I made it into it. I measured and I made it into a 16-inch. You can get 16 or 18 from him. I know the 18 is more popular, but I just like the way the 16 laid better. Um, they retail for $69, I think, for a 1-inch monogram. But I had requested... This was one of the first pieces I bought months and months and months ago, so if I am giving you, like, wrong information, I apologize, but I this is what I think I did. Um, this is one and a half inches. That's what size the pendant is, and it's 1.3 millimeters thick. You can get them smaller than this, you can get them bigger, you can get them thinner, you can get them thicker, but at the end of the day, um, mine was one and a half and 1.33, and because of that, it was extra money, I think because it was a bigger and thicker initial. It's not the 3D, I think that was an option, but I just chose to get the original, and it was $54 extra. So total, this was $123, which seems expensive, but again, keep in mind, it is sterling silver, handcrafted, amazing quality. 
Um, the Jennifer Zuner monogram pendants, I think, are $264, I want to say. So about half the price. Um, and I actually like the way this design looks better than hers, which is crazy. But um, you can also have the option of hanging it from the middle. I actually liked hanging it from the left and right side, so that's why I did that. But you can hang it from the middle here and just have one. I think he told me that it's more sturdy to hang it from the middle, but I just preferred it from both sides and so far so good. I love this is I have I own so much jewelry including tons of pieces from Tiffany and Co and I have to tell you that this is my most favorite piece of jewelry that I have in my collection ever. Like I love this so much. It adds so much to my outfits. You can dress it up, dress it down. It's unique, it's original. I thought it was it was kind of cool to me too because I use my initials which are my maiden name. I'm getting married in a year and I thought this is like my last like maiden name um, piece with my three initials because my initials, my last initial is going to change when I get married. So this was kind of special to me too. It was just that last thing with my MGM initials um, that I'll have. So I love this piece. I highly recommend it. They make amazing personalized gifts if you're looking for um, bridesmaids, friends, sisters, whatever. Amazing gifts. He was so easy to communicate with back and forth. Instant responses. Um, awesome. Love, love, love. Okay, that's that. Next, I'm going to talk about something that I was really disappointed in. Everything that I've purchased, I was really happy about except for this. And I hate to knock it, knock it, or say anything bad, but I just want to be honest. And because I spent my own <coughs> hard-earned money on it, I don't feel bad being honest with you guys about it. Um... A subscriber had tweeted me about this seller who makes nail pol who makes um, jewelry out of nail polish. I want to put this back on because I feel like it adds so much to my outfit. She makes um, jewelry out of nail polish, which I thought at first the the um, idea was so unique. Like you don't ever get to see that. She has tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of colors of nail polish. You can also send her your own nail polish, and you can have her make jewelry out of it. I bought three pieces from her. I bought two rings and a pair of earrings. So for the earrings, which are these little studs, I chose OPI's Matahari, which is just all glitter, which these aren't so bad, and I think her stuff was pretty affordable. But I also bought this ring in Essie's Starry Starry Night, which was a limited edition color. You can't even get it anymore, and I forget what the name of this ring is, but I'll put it in the description box. It's I think another one of those limited edition colors. It has like four different colors in it. And I just have to say, the idea I think is really cool. The concept of it is nice that you can personalize your jewelry to be your favorite nail polish color, but the quality I don't love. I think it's pretty cheap. This is what the back of the rings look like. It's adjustable, which to me that's kind of cheap. But I understand why it's done that way. It just makes it easier on her that she doesn't have to worry about different sizing and stuff. But and in, in the pictures, these looked a lot bigger than what they are in person. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed in the quality of these. Like I said, the concept is really neat, but I kind of wish the quality was a little bit better. Okay. Next. This one, she makes videos on YouTube, and that's how I found all of her jewelry. She originally started an Etsy shop. What is this piece of hair doing? Uh, a while ago. Now she has her own store online, her own website. So I will link her website instead of her Etsy shop. And her YouTube name is HRH Collection. She is like one of the most fashionable girls on YouTube. I absolutely love her videos, love her style. A lot of her pieces are inspired by Chanel. So I have bought, and she makes these chains, necklace chains. Um, this is the ultra sleek, the high polish silver. Just has one little ring. That's how it closes. And I'm gonna put them all on for you, so you can just kind of see where they lay. That's that. Okay, so this is the high polished gold, and it lays in the same place. These are very heavy chains. The quality of them is amazing. They don't feel cheap at all. This is the little key to my heart. It's like a little. It almost looks like a little mangled, poor little key on a brass chain. This one's pretty long, but I love this. It just adds, you know, a little something to like a plain outfit. Let's take these off. <clears throat> this is the Elin, which is like gold and then 
gunmetal gauge. And again, you can wear these long. You can actually double them up if you are wearing something shorter. Um, that's really pretty too. So that is the Elon. <coughs> this is probably one of my favorites. This is the Coco. It's, it's really pretty links with some pearls on it. That one lays pretty short. And I layer her chains all the time. I'm not sure, I don't remember the name of this one. But it's gauge chains. It has pearls here in both places. And this one is very long. I tend to double this one up. I'm sorry that I don't remember the names, but like I said, these are all available on her website, and she has tons more. <laughs> and this one has silver and gunmetal gauges with little rhinestones. So, I love Alex's her taste. Her quality of her pieces is amazing, priced very well. I uh, love her videos, so if you're not subscribed to her videos, then you should. Um, so... So that is the HRH Collection Chains. Okay, next up would probably be another one of my favorite designers on Etsy and probably one of the more popular ones. Her name is Teresa, and I know her by Classic Designs, and you've probably seen, I'm getting all my chains tangled here, you have probably seen a lot of her pieces on me before because I've been talking about them for a while. Okay, so I own this bracelet from her, which is the Evil Eye Bracelet, and I never take this off. It's sterling silver, and it's not Swarovski crystals. I said it in a video, but it's actually cubic zirconian. And um, she has, like, two different loops, so you can tighten this or wear it bigger if you wanted to. I tightened it because it was a little too big on me. Very dainty, delicate, evil eye. It'll protect you from evil spirits, apparently. I also have this solid gold initial bracelet in gold with my, you could tell I love like personalized stuff. And again, I don't know if you could see the thickness in this, but it's a solid gold M. Very dainty. I like to wear this a lot with my Pandora bracelet because it's just dainty and it adds a little something. Her pieces are very um, reasonably priced and I feel like she could charge more and get more for her pieces. Um, very, very nice, good quality stuff. All right, this is a tangled mess, but I'm going to show you anyway. So I have a sterling silver necklace, again with an M, which kind of is a 16-inch chain, and it lays kind of like on my neck, so I, I wear it a lot with my monogram necklace. So that's the sterling silver initial. You can also get it in gold. And then this piece, which is so tangled. You have all seen me wear this in my videos. Um, it is the sideways cross that the girl on... Um, a lot of people wear this in Hollywood now, but specifically I think started with the girl on the Rachel Zoe project. Um, and this again is a little bit shorter than 16 inches, lays really nice up here. And this is the 14 karat gold fill. I think it's about $40, but she does make the solid gold crosses for a lot more. Um, you can get the so sideways cross in silver as well. You can get the sideways initial in gold. A lot of her pieces are universal. She has amazing stuff. A lot of her pieces are inspired by the more expensive pieces. So I think she she takes like the really expensive pieces and makes them more affordable. So if you've seen pieces in Hollywood, um, she kind of recreates them. I'm not sure if he, she would take requests. I would think that she would if you see a piece and like see if maybe she could redesign it. She is amazing to deal with. Okay, then one of my subscribers on YouTube contacted me and she was saying that she just started her Etsy shop. She's been trying to get her name out there. So she offered to send me this bracelet and do like a swap. So I sent her one of my little angel wing necklaces and she sent me this wrap bracelet, which you guys know I love my Chan Lu wrap bracelets. I own several of them. This is a Chan Lu with just Swarovski crystals. And honestly, when she sent this to me, if I didn't know any better, I would have thought this was a Chan Lu bracelet. I chose the brown and turquoise. She even put a little Japanese symbol on there, which I think is it means love. And she added like a little Swarovski crystal. Um, the Chan Lu bracelets don't usually come with a charm. That's why I kind of liked it. It was different. And you can basically tell her how many times you want it to wrap around your arm. I told her I wanted mine to wrap around about four times. So these are so in right now. The Chan Lu bracelets, especially for summer. I love turquoise. Love, love, love turquoise. She gives you three different options of where you can close the bracelet. So if you want it tighter or looser. 
It has a nice little button detail at the end. She customizes these too. You could tell her what color leather. She has so many different color leathers. You can tell her what kind of beads, if you want Swarovski crystals, if you want turquoise. You can wear this as a necklace. I, you can wear it as a headband. You could wear it as a belt. Um, but, I mean, huge. This, if I didn't know any better, like I said, I would, Chan Lu makes a bracelet exactly like this, and it's going to be a fraction of the price. And just so you know about the detail, she wrote in here, um, your bracelet was made with genuine leather, gen genuine leather, genuine turquoise, <laughs> turquoise, a shell closure, a sterling silver love charm, and a mini Swarovski briolette like the ones on your necklace. So, um, I know she is just starting out, but, and she doesn't have a lot of bracelets posted on her website, but if you email her or message her through Etsy, you can do like a customizable one. She will work with you on that. But I mean, I, you won't be even, even be able to tell. So if you don't want to spend $200 on a Chan Lu bracelet, check out her Etsy store. Highly recommend her bracelets. Okay, next up, I'm going to talk about my girl, Elizabeth, Unlimited Elizabeth. She doesn't have an Etsy store, but she does make jewelry and she just sells it through her blog. She originally started with Swarovski Crystal Wrap, um, wire wrap rings. I have the Golden Shadow, the Aurora Borealis. This is my favorite. The little red heart. She has a little star. So she started with the rings and then she got super creative and started making these bracelets, which are gorgeous. I could not wait to get one from her. Um, the time that she put into this and the creativity, like, I can't even get over it. I'm so impressed. It comes on a silver little charm bracelet and then she puts all these charms pearls and Chris Swarovski crystals, big pearls, little pearls. They're like blush, peach, and um, like the authentic pearl. I hope you can see the detail. Let me see if I can. Gorgeous. And then, which makes it even more personalized, she puts a little Swarovski crystal with your initial on it. I love this bracelet. If you're like me, if you like weight like weighted bracelets, like I love my Tiffany bracelets and my, my heavier bracelets, and I like the jingle jangle, um, you would love this bracelet. I'm going to put it on so I can show you. It is stunning. And the thing that I love most about it is you can kind of, you can kind of link it on any of the other links. So if it's too big, you can link it on one of the other ones and shorten it. I kind of like them big. It's not going to fall off my hand. But the thing that I love about this is she used a lot of like gold tone crystals um, but put it on a silver bracelet. And if you guys have been watching my videos for a while now, then you know I love mixing metals. I don't believe in the whole like don't mix silver and gold. Like I love mixing metals. I have a two-tone Pandora bracelet. And this one, it's on a silver bracelet, but a lot of the stones are gold. So it's almost like you can wear this with your, with your silver jewelry and you can wear it with your gold jewelry and it would go either way. It's perfect, beautiful colors for summer, spring and summer. I absolutely just love this. And this isn't the only bracelet she has. This is the one I got, but she has a lot of different ones um, from affordable to more expensive. Her prices are great. I think you have to definitely take into consideration all the work that goes into creating one simple bracelet, um, all the different individual stones and gems. I love this. This is like one of my favorite, favorite pieces. Love it, love it. Her rings are really pretty, too. I only have four of them. <laughs> um, okay, next up, again, I was contacted by a lovely subscriber on YouTube. She offered to send me um, one of her sideways cross bracelets. And I was all over this because if you watch the failed Miami Housewives and you saw, um, what was the blonde chick's name? Alex, I think the blonde, really pretty. She always wore like layered bracelets and she always had a sideways cross bracelet on. And then I found out that the girl that sent this to me is actually from Miami. So this must be a thing, a trend down there. But she put it on unpolished um, black onyx beads. The cross is a gorgeous silver. And then on the side, there's like little hearts. I love this. I even ordered one for a friend because I loved it so much. And so after she sent me this, I was like, I have to have more of your bracelets because I want to stack them. So I ended up buying four more bracelets. I, we ended up doing a little swap too. I sent her some of my, I sent her one of my angel wing necklaces. And she sent me, this is the six millimeter lava beads. I hope you can see the detail. They're so unique. Like they're not perfect. They're kind of rugged looking, but I love that. So I've been layering, I actually put the cross on first. 
there's that. And then I bought the Stardust bracelet, which is again the unpolished um, black onyx beads with some silvery glittery balls. I bought a turquoise bracelet from her. These are the 8 millimeter turquoise beads, just a plain one. Um, and then, of course, I'm missing one. And then, of course, the cross bracelet. So pretend this bracelet isn't on. Um, I love this. This is going to be so hot for summer to layer bracelets like this made out of wood, made out of turquoise. You can wear them by themselves. You can wear them together. I personally like the look of the layered bracelets. Um, their beads are really good quality. They're made, they're stretchy, so they can expand. I actually had to make her, ask her to make me a little bit larger one. Um, you can't even tell, like, where it ends and where it begins. Like, the, it, the quality is really well made. The turquoise beads are, like, they have a good weight to them. They don't feel plastic. They're, they are authentic turquoise. A lot of her bracelets, um, she can add, like, the sideways cross. She has little Buddhas that are really cute. She has peace signs, little different charms. Um, you can basically customize it. And her little business cards and how it comes packaged is so cute. It came in this little black and white um, little package. And then she had like a little pink, which if you guys know me, I love my black, white, and pink. Hello, wedding colors. She had them like this packaged. Um, so I love, love, love these. I think they're so pretty. Like I said, um, I just wanted plain ones. I didn't want the charms on it. So she worked with me and I customized my own bracelets that I wanted. I just wanted the plain ones and then of course the Stardust bracelet. But I love this sideways cross bracelet. I'm so excited to wear that. Okay, what else? I think I only have one other thing to show you. Lastly, from Ritzy Misfit. I found these necklaces. I bought three of them. Very reasonably priced again. Um, and I don't even know how these are made, but they're kind of made out of like stamped metal. I got a little M in fuchsia. This is the chain, really nice quality chain. I would say these are about 16 inch. Again, with the personalized monogram. You basically, when you go on her site, you tell her um, like how perfectly you want it, if you want it more round, if you want it more jagged, how much color you want, more color, less color. Obviously your initials. So I got the M in pink because pink is my favorite color. I also got a silver cross, a silver hammered cross. And you can see this, the shape of this one is a little bit different than my M. I just think it's, I forget what it's called. I think it's press, like metal press is how it's done. And then, where's the other one that I got? I also got this one in gold with an M again. And you can see how kind of rugged this one is. And I love that. I love that it's not a perfect circle. It just adds so much character to it. And I got this one in gold, the metal silver. So again, I can wear this with my gold pieces or my silver pieces and I can mix the metals. This one I got on a special chain, which you can also add, I think, for $8. And I love this chain. I actually prefer this chain over the chain that it comes with, just as an FYI. So what I've been doing is just when I wear the different ones, I switch out the chain that's on the um, little charm. But I love this. They're very personalized, really cute, very lightweight, but really good quality. <coughs> um... So yeah, I think that's everything. I know this video was super long, so I'm sorry, but I, I was just wanted to show it all to you in one in one video. Um, like I said, I'm going to link my Etsy shop and also the Etsy shops of each of the people and the products and jewelry that I've talked about. None of them are paying me. None of them sent me this stuff for free. If anything, I did swaps with some of the ones that I did not pay for, but I did send them one of my pieces. Um, you can also go on my Etsy and go under my favorites, and I favorited a lot of the shops that I love. Um, so you can see it that way. So just go on their shops. A lot of them have such beautiful pieces. It's like a never-ending shopping trip for me. I really needed to like slow down with the shopping on Etsy. But um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Etsy is a great place for bridesmaids. Like for if you're getting married and you have bridesmaids, a lot of the girls on there do like specialized bridesmaids, customizable colors. It's a great place to go to find affordable customizable bridesmaids gifts. 
Every single one of the sellers that I dealt with was extremely friendly, extremely good with communication, got back to me right away. The shipping was very fast. Um, I don't have a bad thing to say about anything other than the little nail polish jewelry. I kind of just wish the quality was a little bit better. That's the only negative thing. Everything else, this is my favorite overall. Um, yeah, everything else will be in the description box. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and enjoyable. And let me know what you get if you get anything. If you've purchased one of my necklaces, um, thank you. And please keep me posted on the feedback for those. Um, but yeah, if you guys get anything that I've showed you, please come back and let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorites were. If you are a jewelry designer yourself, I encourage you to start an Etsy shop. It's not that expensive. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!